Okay, let's go through the women's draw for Indian Wells. It's just come out. It's a pretty interesting looking draw, and there's some really nightmare matches for some of the big names in the first couple of rounds. But let's start with the players that are not playing in this event who have withdrawn. Okay, so here is the withdrawal list for the ladies. You can see there, Krajikova. She's pulled out. Benchich also pulled out. She won't be playing for the rest of the year, so don't expect to see her name in the draw for about 12 months. Mukova, wrist injury, had surgery. She's out for a while. Kvitova, same as Benchich, won't be playing for a while. Sevastova also pulling out due to getting... Uh, a possible knee problem last week. Uh, we also have Anisimova pulling out of the draw, which is really a shame. She was playing so well in Australia, so she's not playing. Okay, so 32 seeds in this one. Of course, being a 1,000 event of this size, all the seeds get a buy in the first round. Starting with Sviantek, the number one seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier well, Danielle Collins in the second round. And of course, Collins did push Fiontek at the Australian Open to the brink. So very tough start for Fiontek. Then you've got Georgie taking on Bolter. And of course, Bolter just won a title. Very, very good form. Winner of that will play the number 26 seed, Noskova, in the second round. And of course, Noskova Fiontek. That was in Australia. And that was an upset. Then you've got number 18 seed, Key. She'll take on either a qualifier in the second round because he's got two qualities going at it in that first round. Then you've got Korpash taking on Putin Seva. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Alexandrova, in the second round. So this section's interesting. It's an interesting little section with, you know, obviously Sviantek being the big one, but it's a lot of dangerous players in here. You've got, uh, you know, Sviantek, Noskova as the big two. Key's coming back for the first time this year. She's also, also going to be one to watch, of course. But then the dangerous unseater player. You've got Colin. You've got Bolter, who's in very good form at the moment. It's a very interesting section to see how Sviantek can get out of it. Next section of the draw, you've got Ostapenko, the number 10 seed. She'll take on either Kerber or Martic in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Venus Williams. Winner of that will take on the number 17 seed, Kudamatova, in the second round. Then you've got the 25th seed, Vekic. She'll take on either Wozniacki or Zhu in the second round. Then you've got Andreva taking on Volley Nets. Winner of that will take on the number six seed, Ons Jabur, in the second round. And of course, we have seen Jabur taking on Andreva this year already, and it was an absolute beatdown by Andreva in Australia. So that sucks for Jabur. But players to watch out for. Obviously, Ostapenko, very, very dangerous, has had a very good season so far as well. Jabur, if her knee's okay, definitely one to watch and one to uh, keep an eye on. Andreva, one of the most dangerous unseated players in the draw. Of course, this section will take on the Sviantek section in the quarterfinals. So we potentially could be getting a Sviantek taking on Jabur if we're going to go by the big names. But if we want to go with the names that maybe everybody expects and maybe everybody wants, Sviantek versus Ostapenko, that is the one that I want to see personally because I reckon that on this slower court, Sviantek might like her chances a little better. All right, next part of the draw now, we've got Rabakina. Number four seed, she'll take on either Bedosa or Kruger in the second round. Then you've got Tormo taking on Buzkova. Winner of that will take on the number 28 seed, Potapova, in the second round. So Potapova is playing. Then you've got Kalin Sky, the 21st seed. She'll take on either a qualifier or Lynette in the second round. Uh, then you've got Maria taking on Roos. Winner of that will take on the number 13 seed, Paulini, in the second round. Of course, Paulini... Just beat Kalinskaya in that Dubai final a couple of weeks ago. So that's going to be really interesting to see if they get a rematch there. But of course, players to watch. Rabakina, defending champion. Definitely got to keep an eye on her. Paulini just won in Dubai. Kalinskaya, of course, just played the final of Dubai. So you got to watch out for them as well. Then you've got the number 12 seed, Hadaj Maya. She will take on the winner of either a qualifier or Wong in the second round. Then you've got Kessler taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed, Pavlyuchenkova, in the second round. Then you've got the number 31 seed, Kostruk. She'll play either a qualifier or Zong in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Savile. Winner of that will take on the number 7 seed, Rondrusova in the second round. This is a weird section because there's no real standouts. I mean, there's players playing well. Kostuk's been good. Vondi, she was okay a couple weeks ago. Pavlyuchenkov has been pretty good at times. Adaj Maia's had her moments. Uh, there's not too many unseated players there that are super dangerous. So this might be the most open section of the draw. And of course, this section will take on Rabakina's section in the quarters. So we could be getting Rabakina taken on Von Drusova. If we go by the big names, the two past Wimbledon champions to play, that would be really fun. Uh, if you want to go by a little bit more form, maybe Rabakina versus Kostyuk. After what Kostyuk did last week in San Diego. Or maybe even uh, if you want to go something a little more different, Rabakina taking on a Daj Meyer. Could be something that happens there. Uh, if you want to go with something different, maybe Rabakina not there. Maybe you put Paulini taking on a Dajmeyer or Paulini taking on Von Drusova. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. Rabakina really the only player that I would trust in this section. Of course, this section in the semis will take on Sviantek's section. So, of course, Sviantek take Rabakina. We'd love to see that. It was a semifinal last year, and uh, we could get a rematch. We could get Sviantek taking on Von Drusova. Things go right for Vondi this week. Or maybe even Sviantek Kalinskaya. 
which was a rematch of what we saw in Dubai last week. So there it is, top half of the draw. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw. Bottom half of the draw, you can see there, we've got Jung, the number eight seed. We'll get a buy in the first round. Should take on the winner of Gracheva and Yuan in the second round. Then you got Buxa taking on Dollarhide. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed as a ranker in the second round. Then you got the number 19 seed, Castella. She will take on either Stevens or Sharif in the second round. Then you got Avanesian taking on Dodden. Winner of that will take on the number 11 seed, Kazakina, in the second round. And look, this is a very interesting section. You know, players that are playing well this year, Azarenka's been good. Zhang's obviously been good. Castella's had her moments. Kazakina's been good as well. I mean, this is a very competitive section. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Samson over the number 14 seed. She'll take on either Osaka or a qualifier in the second round. So Osaka, Samson over could be really, really fun. Then you've got Wong taking on Schmidlova. Winner of that will take on the number 24 seed Mertens in the second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed Kalanina. She'll take on either Fre or Bronzetti in the second round. Then you got Wong taking on Beryl. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Coco Goff, in that second round. And I think Goff's got the easiest on paper. Easiest draw on paper. I think that she uh, really would like her chances in that for sure. There's not really any tough players in there for her. I mean, Samson Nova's not easy, but and Osaka, of course, isn't easy. But I feel like Goff got to like her chances in this section. And of course, this section will take on that uh, Zhang section. So a possible quarterfinal between Goff and Zhang. We could be getting a quarterfinal between Goff and, and Azarenka. Uh, Goff and Kazakina in the quarterfinals. Or if you don't think Goff's going to make it, maybe you go with Zhang versus Samsonova as something a little different. Bottom part of the draw now, we've got Pagula. Number five seed. She'll take on either Blinkova or Pliskova in the second round. And that is such a, a tough second round, no matter who it is. A very tough start for Pagula. Then you've got Parry taking on Trevison. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed, Fernandez in the second round. Then you got Garcia, 20th seed. She'll take on either Tomova or Kennan in the second round. Then you got Snyder taking on Bogdan. Winner of that will take on the number nine seed, Zachary, in the second round. And this section is stacked. Pagula, Fernandez, uh, Garcia, Zachary, all very, very tough players, but also very competitive against each other, which could be fun. You got, uh, you know, obviously players to watch out for, those four in particular, but also Pliskova. You've also got uh, Kennan in this section as well. So this section here, very, very awkward for all players involved. And then the next section of the draw, the bottom section, the very bottom section, you've got Svetlina, the 16th seed. She'll take on either Sinan Yakova or Minin in the second round. Uh, then you've got Qualifier taking on Sharenko. Winner of that will take on the number 23 seed, Navarro, in the second round. Then you've got the 30th seed, Yastremska. She'll take on either Raducanu or a Qualifier in the second round. Uh, and Yastremska has been good this year. Raducanu, Yastremska, that'll be fireworks. Uh, then the bottom part, you've got Chucky Reddo taking on Stearns. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Sabalenka, in the second round. Very, very interesting draw for Sabalenka. Players to watch out for are, uh, you know, Sabalenka, Yastremska, Svetlina, of course. You've got to keep an eye on Raducanu. You know, she did play well here. Uh, 12 months ago, surprisingly so, made the fourth round. So definitely someone to watch out for on these slower courts. Of course, this section will take on that Pagula section. So possibly quarterfinal between Sabalenka Pagula. We could be getting a Sabalenka Zachary quarterfinal or even a Sabalenka Fernandez quarterfinal if you want to go with something a little bit different. And of course, this section playing in the semis against the Goff section. So big names, Sabalenka Goff could be in the semis. If you want to go something different, maybe Sabalenka Zhang, rematch of the Australian Open final. Maybe you don't think Sabalenka's going to get there. Maybe you go with Goff versus Pagula. With Pagula having the new coaches, maybe something happens. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who's going to win this tournament? It feels like Rabakin has got the best draw. Or maybe even Goff. Goff might be the one. She has a pretty good road until the semis. Is that a good thing? Maybe. You know, she doesn't have to play, maybe not have to play too many tough matches early. But then again, maybe she has to, she should be playing tough matches. So then when she plays Sabalenka, if, if she plays Sabalenka, it won't be uh, out of nowhere. You know, it's not that big of a jump to play some tough pl matches and then go to Sabalenka. But either way, I think that Sviantek's draw is the worst. And uh, she's going to have the toughest draw and the toughest road to making this title. Indian Wells to the ladies. And it's looking pretty interesting early on.